Hai. Yeah, How about you? You join that talk for me? Okay, good. Okay, good. Okay, so your phone, uh, good. Yeah, I can see the yoga mat. <laughs> okay, good. Then, uh, your laptop can go now, I think. How are you feeling today? Good, yeah. How's your back, your shoulders? Oh, okay, that's awesome. Very good. So, um, let me see, yeah. We're going to do, um, let me see. We're going to do some rotation for your upper body, okay? And then, um, we'll do some activation for shoulder blades as well, okay? Um, meanwhile, your, your shoulders, all this, you feel much better, huh? So, okay, good. Oh, good, good, good. Well, I'm glad to hear that, man. Alright, so today we can start with a uh, upper back rotation first. So we can lie down sideways. Okay, this one is an easier way of doing it first. If I see that you are okay with it, then I will progress accordingly. Alright, so what you're going to do, right, is uh, you give me a minute, I'm going to adjust my Okay, so what you're going to do is, you're going to lie down. Okay, your both hands clap together. Okay, put at the side. Yes, put at the floor. Huh? I want you to slowly open up your hands. Okay, and then try to touch on the other side. Alright, but I want you to uh, move your upper body. Uh, okay, not your hands trying to go down. Uh, but it's more of your upper body turning to the side and open up. Uh, one thing to take note, right, when you do this, uh, very important, your hip, uh, your hip don't turn back, okay? When you start to use your hip to turn back, you defeat the purpose of doing your upper body rotation. Okay, so you can actually just open up. Okay, see how far you can touch. Okay, stop, stop, stop. Ah, that's, that is where you touching you. That, that is the maximum for now. Because your hip start to move a bit already. Okay, then you come back again. Ah, the front part here, huh? Ah. Here is still the chest, uh, still the chest area. Uh, later we can do a release. This one we can do 15 sets first, 15 reps. Okay, 15 times. Uh. Okay, so slowly open. See how far you can go. And then you come back again. Okay, open up again. Okay, very good, very good. Your hip is, you stay at the right place. Stay at the place that it's supposed to be. Okay, very good. Hmm. Then you will know that your upper body how tight it is. <laughs> okay. And then after that, four. Back. Okay, five. Okay, come back. Okay, six. Okay, come back. 
Okay, last five. Okay, five. Very good. Okay, four. Okay, come back. Okay, three. Come back. Two. And last one. This is what we call an open book. So always like, want to open up the chairs as well as that like, rotating in our upper back. Okay, change side, change to the other side. Okay. So now you flip over to the other side and do on our left hand side. Okay, this will help you to really rotate your upper body, which is the thoracic spine. Uh, and you need it a lot uh, if you sit down the whole day. Okay, your hip. Mm, move in front a bit more. Yes. Okay, bend your knees at 90 degrees. Okay, you can bend your knees at 90 degrees. It's okay. Yeah. Okay, then you open. Tap your hands together. Okay, and then open up again. Okay, make sure your hip don't move back. Okay, that's a key point. Bend your knees. So a lot of time we have the shoulders or neck pain uh, because our thoracic spine also very steep. It's not able to rotate and do their job. And that's where you got a lot of uh, uh, areas that lock up. Okay, so by doing this, you can actually loosen the Loosen the stiffness and improve the movement. Okay. So, okay, try to turn and rotate your upper body more. Okay. You mean the pen? Your head can either support by a yoga block or it can be on the floor, it's fine. So if you feel like a little bit discomfort, you can actually uh, use your yoga block as a support to rest on it. That's fine. Okay, okay, so just like you're mentioning like around your upper chest area, you feel the pain, right? Okay, so just like you're mentioning like around your upper chest area, you feel the pain, right? Yes. Yeah. So, um, but it's not your shoulders that is feeling the pain, right? It's like the chest area, correct? Ah. Okay, or you want to show me? Mm. 
Ah, yes, yes, yes. Okay, your shoulders very close up. Okay, okay, good. Open up more. Okay, I also need to um uh, with, uh advise you on the way that you sit down also in our office. The the chair itself, right? Uh, there's a cushion on the hip. Do in my right? So that one that will like kind of like push your head forward, which is not very good. But then, uh, let's see ya. Uh, we do a quick one ah. Uh. Okay, for you right, your upper back uh, I need to have a, a cushion to rest on. Yeah, so your shoulder blade there uh, or your mid, your, near your bra strap area, your, your spot bra strap area this part. Put a cushion there. Okay, I'll push it okay, to support your back, right, so that your back will keep uh, holding up this way. It's very important. And then for your hip rest, right, that is built in, it's not very good because it's kind of like protrude out. You push your hip forward. And, and plus you have a bun there, right, so you even push more of your hip forward. Okay, and then your hand rest, are you able to adjust your hand rest the up and down? No one. It's a fixed one. Oh, okay. Well, wow, that's not very good. You're supposed to rest your arm. Rest your, something to rest on your arm. So your arm don't always like that. Always close up. Like that. Okay? So it's better to have something to support because you are going to work for long hours. You don't want to be always hanging your hand in the air and then you know doing your work. That's why your posture is 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 from all this that it become like that. Over the many years you, you keep hanging your arms in the air and you have to close up so you can tight all this one. So there's no support for your arms, your shoulders cannot rest, your neck got to work harder. So all this come in place. Okay? So um just to let you know not here yeah, what? Yes, yes, and uh, that's why a lot of people they having this occupation hazard, and uh, they don't know. Uh, that's the thing, uh, they don't know, and that's why they have uh, a lot of issues from that. Um, that's the case. Uh, you might because I can't see your computer. I'm not sure how far it is. Um, if possible, your chair can bring it nearer. See whether you can rest your arm on the table instead. But if let's say you rest your arm on the table, right, it kind of like bring your shoulders up this way, then it's not good. But if let's say it's relax your shoulders and the table like can support your arms while you're typing, that will be great. Okay, so something for you to look out for. If you can, ask the HR to change the chair. <laughs> this is how to increase productivity. <laughs> yeah, okay, can I? So next one we're gonna do uh, we're gonna do uh, your to squeeze your shoulder blades. Okay, squeeze, we're gonna squeeze and we're gonna push out your shoulder blades. Okay, so sideways we squeeze and push out. Squeeze and push out. Okay, so you push out like a camera like that, and you squeeze that like you are very straight up. Squeeze. Okay, because you are very hunched, right? So you need to let the shoulder blade start to work. Okay, your hand up. Uh, your hand don't need to like that squeeze, huh? It's your body, yeah. Huh? Shoulders bring back and squeeze. Okay, tuck in your chin, huh? Ah, then round the back and then squeeze again. Okay, round back and squeeze. Is this is this a maximum squeeze that you can give? Okay, great. Just like <laughs> okay, huh? So now we want to let the shoulder blades know that hey, they can move out and move in as well. And we got to um, let the muscle know that they have to do all this movement. Alright? Because all this year they have been going out. They never like squeeze back. Like for a longer time. Yeah, so now you have to slowly activate them. Okay, let them know that you are you are asking them to go back in place. Okay, so that your body can be upright rather than hunching back at that. Okay? Okay, we're gonna do this for one minute. Okay, squeeze shoulder blade, hunch it, squeeze it, hunch it. Okay, your hunch it means your shoulders go forward. Okay, then if you squeeze your shoulders, roll backwards, squeeze. 
forward and backwards squeeze. Okay, tuck in your chin, uh. don't let your neck do the work. Uh. Okay, your neck tuck in, don't let your neck do the work. Only your shoulders and your shoulders. Okay, one minute starts now. Let's go. So do your best. Okay, squeeze all the way. Okay, make sure the nervous, the shoulder blade at the back, uh, they are nervous. Uh. Don't separate them. Okay, closer the distance the better. Okay, they don't like long distance relationship. Okay, squeeze it and punch it. Squeeze it and punch it. Okay, this will be very good for your to improve your posture. Even in the office, you also can do this. Okay, after like a few hours or you know every hour you can do this. Okay, move your shoulders around, move your shoulders, rotate forward, rotate backwards. Rotate forward and backwards. Your shoulder will take the work a bit more harder. But it's okay, it's a good start. Huh? This is the activation. We go for the second round. Second round, uh, this time I want you to more aggressive. Huh? Squeeze for 3 seconds, then relax. Squeeze for 3 seconds, and then relax. Hold it there for 3 seconds. Alright? Let's go. Your hand don't move. Huh? Not your hand. Huh? Your hand relax. Shoulder move. Shoulder squeeze. Hold it there. 3 seconds, and then relax. Okay, count 3 seconds uh, and relax. Okay, relax means uh, relax is hunch really. Uh, hunch. Okay, you relax is hunch. Okay, then squeeze. Push your shoulder back. Squeeze. Okay, sideways. Uh. Hunch. Push back off. Shoulders. Squeeze your shoulder blades. Okay. Hunch and push back your shoulders. Squeeze your shoulder blades. Okay, very good. Okay, rotate your shoulders, huh? rotate your shoulders, very good, okay? <laughs> very good, okay? Yeah. You can't say hello. Huh? Yeah. Hey. Yeah. 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 Okay, last round, last round. Okay, this time round, you hold for 5 seconds. 5 seconds, okay? Also down first, down. No, down. Okay, uh, ready? Let's go. I'll do for 2 minutes. Okay, squeeze your shoulder blades. Squeeze it. Okay, use your, shoulder, use your shoulders to roll backwards and squeeze it. Very good. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Come on. Oh, 
Punch and squeeze. Punch and squeeze. Awesome. This is the activation. Okay, very good. You get it better. You will feel more like mobile, like not so stiff. Yes, because your upper body, your twice is fine, they need they love this. Okay, last one. Alright, rest. So the key thing here is this uh, your hand uh, will tend to come in to help to bring back that. Uh, but you want this one to be shoulder. You know what it is called, the shoulders here? It's called rotator cuff. They love to rotate. So you are doing like uh, two benefit in one exercise. One is you actually train these shoulders to rotate because they are meant to rotate. And second one, you are able to squeeze the shoulder blades. And they love it. Okay? That's very awesome. Okay, next one, what we're going to do, right? Um, I'm going to do a little bit of the shoulder strengthening. Shoulder blade strengthening, okay? So, um, then after that, I want to move on to strengthen your core. Continue to do that because when you slouch like that, right? A lot of time because your core is, there's no strength here to push you up as well. Okay, but before that, I want to do with you the resistance band. Okay, you can have it. Okay, this one also for your shoulder blades. Okay, we're going to strengthen up the shoulder blade. Just now it's activation. So we activate already. Okay, three sets. Huh? So now we're going to strengthen your shoulder blades. How are we going to do that, right? Your hand, under hand grip this way. Okay, so you can adjust your distance. Okay, you can either make it longer, so easier. Or you want to make it shorter, it's harder. Okay, so based on your um, comfort level first. Okay, you're going to straighten up your hands. You're going to squeeze your shoulder blades. And then you're going to breathe in through your nose first. And slowly breathe out through your mouth as you extend out your bend. Squeezing your shoulder blades. Then after that, slowly breathe in again through your nose. When you come back. Okay, if too hard for you, adjust again. Okay, adjust. Okay, so breathe into your nose. And exhale through your mouth. When you come back, you inhale again. Inhale through your nose. Okay, so when you come back, oh, your hand uh, is always straight. Your elbow always straighten. Alright, don't bend your elbow. Okay, so always like straighten, squeeze your shoulder blade, and then you come back. Okay, we do this for one minute. Okay, let's go. So, breathe in and breathe out. Then breathe in as you come back. Okay, breathe out as you go out. Breathe in as you come back. Okay, breathe out as you go out. You breathe in as you come back. Okay, breathe out as you go. Back your chin. Make sure your neck don't come out. Huh? This is the time where your neck is super active. Okay, slowly bring it back. Mm -hmm. Okay, last three. Okay, very good. Look up, look up. Very good, look up. Slowly bring it down. Okay. And now, okay, very good. Last one. Okay, breathe in and breathe out. Okay, and slowly come back. Okay, rest yourself. Okay, we go for a second round. Round two. Okay, do you feel your shoulder blade is being squeezed? 
Okay, very good. Huh? This one is a resistant band. So just now it was without resistant band, you're just doing the activation. Now resistant band, uh, they will be more awake. Okay, and that is where you start to feel even better. Okay, we go for a second round, round two. One minute. Okay, ready? Uh, take your bands. Okay. So, uh, Sushina, your legs is very high. Uh. Your, your this knee coming up very high up. Okay. So, but right, if you see my leg, right, is is quite low. Okay. So you want to see whether if your thighs or your your IT belts are very tight, right? You just put one leg on top, on top of your the other side. Oh yeah, I see. Can't even put up, right? We have to fight already. Okay, so if for time then I will go through the the ties. All right. So now we continue the second round. Okay. Remember your breathing is very important. Hmm? Yeah. Underhand. Yeah. Underhand breathing. Okay. So uh, this time round, remember your breathing. Okay. Breathe in first, then you go out, then you breathe out. Your mouth, slowly breathing through your music. Alright, let's go for one minute. Straighten your elbow and breathe out. Straighten your elbow, breathe in. Okay, two times for you, extend out your bend first, extend out your bend. Okay, yeah, so you don't bend your elbow. Okay, so elbow all the way straight, all the way straight. All the way to the back street. Mmm, very good. And slowly bring back. Okay, remember. Breathe in and breathe out. And breathe in. Remember, breathe on. Your neck tuck in. Shoulder say good job, good job. <laughs> okay, on the way, on the way to fix them up. Okay, okay, now we go for third round. Okay, still remain the same uh, resistance that you did because um, now they okay, starting to get used to working. All right, so we go for third round. Let's go. Okay, straighten your elbow. You slowly bring it back. Straighten elbow and slowly bring it back. So, shoulder blade is very important because they are the ones that uh, help us to support our hand movement. Okay, without them, okay, a lot of bone will come out. Any more seconds? Slowly bring it back. Okay. And again. And slowly bring it back. And again. Slowly bring it back. And bring it back. Okay. Rest, rest, rest. Okay, shake it off, shake it off. Okay, you want to drink some water? Don't need, uh, okay. Oh, okay, okay. I remember after exercising, you know, to uh, hydrate, uh? Yes. Important, important. Okay, next what we're going to do is a uh, wall angel. Okay, uh? so wall angels also helps you to um, open up your chest, okay, strengthen your shoulder blades, and also help you to strengthen up your back of the neck. So this wall angel has three benefits uh, when you do this exercises. And it's a uh, pretty cool uh, yet a little bit challenging. You want to read this first? Read this first before you do wall angel. Okay, so you take the ball, uh, two fingers below the collarbone, put the ball, 
Okay, so this you can go left and right. Huh? So you lie down flat on the ground. Okay, and then 45 degrees comes down. Okay, comes, comes facing up. Huh? Okay, then you roll sideways. You found it? You got it? Heaven, huh? So that's why you, you, when you do the, the open book, right? You realize the point, right? You can put on the point first, then you can roll sideways also. Can. Okay, your palms must be up 45 degrees, huh? Palms up 45 degrees. Okay, and also palms down. Okay, roll sideways. You found it? Awesome. Okay. Is it very painful? It's okay, huh? Then we do one minute. Okay, now relax yourself. Okay. Okay, now you try to do the open book, huh? Let's see whether do you still feel the the tension over there. Is it better? Okay, good. Yes. <laughs> That's the way. <laughs> okay, so next, huh, we're going to do your wall angel. Um, I'm not sure, behind your photo, is it a wall or something that you can lean against? Can, uh, awesome. Okay, so what you're going to do, huh, first thing is your buttock. Huh? Yes, 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 correct, correct. Yeah, yeah, I want to see again uh, like how you do it. Uh. See whether it's got better improvement or so. Awesome. Yeah, your phone might need to turn and face your wall. Yes. Uh, your phone can turn to your direction so I can see you. Yes, okay, perfect. Uh, more to your left. Yes. Okay, let's see. Okay, good. So show me how you do it. Okay, wait ah. Uh. Second thing ah. Uh. Shoulders must touch the wall first. Shoulders must touch the wall. Yes. Yes. Okay, very good. Tuck your chin. Push back your chin. Okay, your push back your chin ah. Uh, it's not look down ah. Uh. It's your head ah. Uh, must touch the wall. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you can see that because of the hunchback, right? So you a bit your shoulders are uh, touch the wall. Mm. Squeeze your shoulder back and touch the wall. Yes, very good. Then slowly bring your forearms up.
What else is this? <laughs> Okay, uh, shoulders must touch the wall. Uh, this is very important. Shoulder touch the wall. Squeeze your shoulder blades. Very good. Go back. Also touch the wall, yeah. Okay, do for one minute. So squeeze your shoulder blade, go up and down, up and down, very good. So always keep your butt, your back, your shoulders against the wall. Okay. So the arms to side, 90 degrees. And try to keep your hand against the wall and tap your chin. Okay, this one is very good for people who have like a uh, thumb neck, those dowager harm, or like you know, punch back as well. Squeeze your shoulder all the way. Good job. How you feel? Yeah, because huh, you try to open up your chest. Okay, there's another way to do for your chest, huh? Uh, but I need a door, right? So maybe I show you um uh, one side of my yeah yeah. Okay, can you see there's a door there? Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. No problem, I pause this. Mm. So guys, um, you also can do a chest stretch, okay, uh, if you have a punch back, okay, you can do a chest stretch as well, okay, so put a palm to the wall, and slowly punch, and punch, okay, stretch it, okay, so stretch it, Okay, so you see my door frame, huh? Okay, my door frame here. Okay, so what you're gonna do, huh? You're gonna use the door frame, huh? Both hands put beside the door frame, okay? And then, um, uh, your legs, huh? Yeah. No, your leg, huh? One leg at the front, one leg at the back. Okay? Then after that, uh, then you just stretch out your chest. Okay, bring your body forward. Okay, stretch out the side here. Okay, push yourself forward, you will even feel more stretch. Okay? You can bring your phone over, I like can see. Yeah, one day you found one day in the back. Yes. Oh, okay, can. Oh, we can do it on the floor as well. Okay, so on the floor you can uh, do like down, okay? So put one hand at the side. 
Okay? Then you can just bring it down. One, two, two. Okay, then I my hand. My camera will adjust back a little bit. Okay? So you can kneel down. Okay? Then your one hand, put at the side. One hand put at the side, huh? Then your shoulders point down. Okay, shoulders down. Your hand, ah, uh, your hand at the side first. Hand at the side. Yes, yes. Then your shoulders, ah, uh, try to go down. Uh, shoulders go down. Yeah. Do you feel the stretch there? Very good, huh? So you can do this, huh? One, then your, the, the left side also can do two, then three, then four, then five. Okay, it's very near to your shoulder joint where you feel the stretch. Okay, we do for a minute. <laughs> you want to do for a minute? Ah, you okay? Too many things. <laughs> or you can stand up and do. There's another option. You can stand up and do. Okay, so you can save some space. Okay, so you stand up and do, huh? Okay, you see you got a wall there, right? You put your hand out this way. Okay, you face the wall. Okay, then slowly turn to the other direction and face the front. Okay, so your hand at the side, huh? Hand lift up and put at the side. Your face face the wall and then slowly turn to the front. Okay, and feel the stretch. Okay, I'll do the other side, huh? Hands up on the wall at the side and then you slowly turn to the front. Okay, go very near, go very near to the wall. Okay, so slowly turn to the side. Uh, your laptop camera can turn to the wall there as well. Okay, very good. Yes. Okay, your hand up, uh, hand up. Hmm. Okay, good. Hand up, right hand up, uh, put at the side, yes, yes, then your face, uh, face the wall first, face the wall, then you slowly turn to your left side, turn your body to the left side, uh, move your body to the left side, uh, turn some more, turn some more, yeah, turn until you can face the front, face, face your curtain, your leg also can move, uh, your leg can move, okay, turn together to the face the curtain, yes, yes, is this the maximum you can go? Wow, that's very short range. You gotta work more. <laughs> you gotta have a range of movement. Okay, hold it there. We're gonna do for 30 seconds. Very tight. Ah. Oh. Actually, your neck shouldn't feel anything. Ah. It's just tucking your neck. Ah. Tucking your neck. Okay, don't use your neck. Only your shoulders is doing the work. Okay, your, your neck, uh, tuck in. Uh. Okay, tuck in. Face the front. Is your body moving? Uh, body moving to the front facing your curtain. Body move, body move. Okay, body move. Okay. Your neck, uh, tuck in. Uh, don't use your neck. Okay, give you 30 seconds. Okay, your feet uh, also can face the curtain. Uh, right feet also can face the curtain. Hmm. Okay, and that's the maximum for now. Okay, this is to stretch out your chest and also near your shoulders, joint. Okay, you're going to stretch it out and open up the chest. Okay, more oxygen that you can take in as well and have a better posture. Okay, now you change to the other side. Same thing, left hand on the wall. Then slowly turn to face the front. Okay, tucking your neck. Don't let your neck do the work. 
Okay, so you move your body, turn to the right. Yes. Yes. Do you feel the stretch? Have you been training your core? Okay, so it's very good you know, after work uh, you do this chest stretch. You've got to open up your chest. This whole day, uh, keyboard. Keep, keyboard uh, there. And some of the chair is not suitable for you actually. So you actually can't all that. So you want to open up your chest more. So to put that in place. Alright, don't let them go forward. Go forward. I can't do that. Okay? So next time, uh, we're going to do your core already. Okay, let's test your core. Okay, with the heel tap. Okay, now you upgraded to heel tap ready. Very good. Okay, so you're going to test it out. Okay, see whether I'm comfortable. Okay, your phone can go back to the usual spot. Okay, good. So when you do this, right, make sure you don't feel anything on your legs. Huh? A lot of uh, tension should be on your stomach. Okay? Ready? Okay, open up your leg, huh? shoulder width apart. Yes, engage your core. Imagine the big stone dropping now. Very good. And engage it. Remember you can breathe. Huh? Yes. Okay, let's do one minute. Uh, heel touch, uh, heel, your heel touch. Uh. Okay, check your lower back whether is there any gap. Okay, the one leg must come back completely, then the other leg can go down. Okay, rest. Okay, do you feel your stomach? Okay, good. Now do your cobra stretch. Then we go for round two. Okay, cobra stretch for round two. Okay, very good. Okay, your head can look up. Just out, switch to the next now. Okay, 30 seconds. Your hand can straighten your elbow. Mm. So this cobalt thread is very good for your core. After you do your core workout, that is very good. Okay, then now to baby pose. Okay, baby pose. So to lengthen your lower back after you do a cobra stretch. Yes. Okay, very good. Another few seconds.
Okay, rest. So, um, during your work timing, or if you can, stretch your neck side to side. Side to side. Okay, don't let them stitch there. Okay, at least you will do it side to side. Okay, because they are very tense up. Alright, and then a lot of time for pain, you, you actually move your neck over there. Okay, try to tuck in. Uh. Okay, if the computer is too far for you, because I can't see from the picture. Uh, if the computer is too far for you, uh, you might want to do some adjustment. Uh. Make sure your neck don't, don't have to go forward to check. If you have to, uh, then bring your body forward to fit instead of your neck. Okay, we're going to do for the round two. Uh, so somehow do you feel when you do the heel cap? Is it easy? Manageable, huh? Okay, very good. Uh, next one we're going to do is, I'm going to up one more level. Okay, so uh, we'll do this one one round. Okay, it's a testing round. Okay, so engage your core, big stone drop down. Okay, both legs up. Instead of doing heel cap, right? Now you're going to do extend out your legs. So the lower you go, the harder it is. Okay, your back will have to fight for for, for not coming up. Because some back is not strong enough, they will start to come up and then it's going to stop. Okay, so what you're going to do is, you go to the level that you're comfortable with, and then you come back, comfortable with, and then you can test a little bit of your knee meat, and then, okay, this is a good spot for you, your back still holding good, your core still working out, then you continue from there, alright? Okay, let's go. So, the third, uh, this has a four level of uh, level that you can pick up for. And so far, so good. Okay, I'm going to ask you, Shina, you put down your leg first, huh? you engage your core first. Okay, big stone, drop on your stomach, press down to your back, to your mat. Okay, very good, and then slowly bring your whole feet up. Okay, check your low back, huh? no gap. Huh? Okay. Slowly bring your neck up. Okay, okay let's go. We'll do 30 seconds with you. Okay, that's your lower back, huh? see whether you come on. So the moment you feel that it's coming out, right, that's, that's a limit that you can go to. And rest. Okay, where do you feel? Okay, very good. Okay, so no legs, huh? You shouldn't feel anything on your legs. Uh, at least not at the, I mean the majority of the sauna shouldn't be from your legs itself. Okay, very good. Uh, your back, how is it? Did it come up? Okay, very good. Okay. Did it like kind of fighting hard to stay there? Stay on the ground. Okay, uh, really. Uh, okay. <laughs> so, um, one way to check, uh, check your lower back for hole or not. Okay, as you go lower, uh, the back will come up, come out, then the hole will be bigger and bigger. So make sure there's no hole at all. Yeah. Okay, do your cobra stretch and then we can do some pull down. Okay, and uh, we'll end our session from there. Okay, do a proper stretch. Okay, this is a, a trailer, trailer for you. Huh? Okay, so you can test it out this week and then practice it. Okay, if too hard for you, regress it. If too easy for you, lower the leg. Okay, until like almost, like, you know, all the way down, 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 down until here. Uh, then you are very strong already. Then come back. They're all way down very strong. Okay. Uh, that is where your core has the basic strength in. Okay, can do your cobra stretch.
you can lie your hip down now, so your hand will be so stressed. Okay, your hip can touch the floor. Yes, yes. Then push yourself up. Yeah. Wow, my hips will come up. Uh, even they are straight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe you go up too high. <laughs> <laughs> okay, baby pose, baby pose. Okay, so make sure after you do cobra stretch, you do your baby pose. And then turn your lower back. And stretch it out. So the next phase of training, right, will be a lot of uh, rotation, mobility for your upper body. And also, I want to start your lower body as well. Like for your thighs, your knees, like right, your feet, all these have to be in sync. Because obviously your your thigh and is very tight. Yeah, very tight. And uh, hip height, yeah. So remember to uh, follow the last video and do the hip height. That one is more important. Okay, can ah? So uh, let me see. Uh, okay. Also today, what we did was uh, the shoulders, uh, sh um, shoulder blades. So you're going to do hunch and squeeze. Not using your forearms, uh, using your shoulders rotation. Okay, his name is Rotation Khan, so he loves to be rotate. Okay, so move him, right, move him. Okay, so next is the open hook. Okay, you open up. Okay, your hip, don't go back. Okay, just open up. Very good. So your aim is to really rotate your upper body to the back. If you feel that it's so tight, your chest, then release your chest. If your upper body, you feel that it's so restrictive, that doesn't allow your hand to go down lower, then you've got to use the foam rollers, okay, to release your mid back. Okay? And especially after work, because after work, you usually the case, right? Alright, next, the wall angel, as usual, continue. Um, it's still a little bit difficult for you. Okay, you can train until like it's effortless. Uh. Okay, effortless. Okay, so that one also will help you overall for your neck, tucking your neck, okay, shoulders, and your upper back. Alright, so after that, uh, what you're going to do is, um, especially if you release your chest already, you can do the dog frame stretch. The one, the both hand, both hand at the side of the dog frame. You have one leg at the front, one leg at the back. Can you stretch out your chest. Or you can use the wall. Just the front. Turn yourself to the front. Okay? So your whole body can turn up. It's not only your it's not only your shoulder can turn up. Whole body, even your feet turning to the front. Okay, so you can stretch it out in your hands and your chest as well. Okay? And then uh, lastly is your core. Uh, okay, wait one more for your shoulder blades. Underhand grip. Okay? Uh, underhand grip. Okay? Back your chin. Shoulder try to push it down. You squeeze your shoulder blades and come back, come back slowly. So adjust accordingly to your resistance, comfortable resistance, and slowly come back. Okay? So a lot of time when you go to the back, you tend to bend. Okay? That is too difficult for you. Loosen up. All the way. Squeeze it. Bring it back. Squeeze it, bring it back. Okay? So remember your breathing as well. Because sometimes you too, you just go in there. It's very hard to move. Okay? Yeah. And the last one is um your core. Your core is right here. Okay, now you improve and upgrade it. Okay, engage. Okay, and stand up. Okay, see how long you can go. Okay? If this one is easy for you already, then we'll move on to the next stage. Because we'll train out your side as well and your back. Not so soon. Okay, so far any questions? No, I'm not good. Huh? So your hip hat video do first, prioritize that. Uh, shoulders, um, if you can, now you start to transit to this video already. Okay, the releasing all this, unless you feel the pain, the tightness, doing some uh, movement, you feel restricted, then you do the releasing and stretching first.
Okay, yeah. Okay. So I see you the next session. Friday, happy Friday, this year. Friday, what time? Huh? Friday, eight o'clock. Friday, eight o'clock. Yeah, no. Um, if you want, like seven or eight o'clock. This Friday, only this Friday can work. Okay, uh, can I? Uh. Alright, so I'll uh, move on to your legs uh, and also your knees. Okay, okay, good night. Bye bye. Okay, just now we did, I did with the clients that have a um, hunchback, right? A lot of neck and shoulders, mid back pain. Right, and um, as well as the uh, hip imbalances as well. But today we focus a lot on a lot on the upper upper body itself. Okay, so I hope you guys learned something today. Yeah, next I'm going to um have the next client. Uh, for her it's more like strengthening because for her now she already um remove her pain from the knees and the uh, shoulders. So now we're going to do a compound exercises. So if you have any questions, um, you can ask here as well. Then, um, maybe after I finish the session, I can answer you. <laughs> Hello, lemon ever. So guys, if you have any question, you can ask me as well while I'm waiting for the next slide to come in. Now I'm going to grab the bike first.
like release even more effectively [ah] your leg will definitely come out then your body can bring down bring down your body yes okay [ah] okay just hold it there it's very painful [ha] (mm) you bend down and twist this side how you twist (mm) okay later you demonstrate to me how you twist because your knee [ah] they cannot twist [one] okay [ah] they they just bending [lah] bending joint bend forward bend back (ppl) that's all they cannot like (ppl) (mm) (mm) [ah] (um) must understand your daily activities now so you you bend a lot now like as usual (mm) (uh) you got to do like the wall squat [ah] then push up your knees got to strengthen up your knees the 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 I_T band and your gluteus medius at the butt there also okay [ah] if you want more (uh) pressure [ah] bring your body forward (mm) so last time I used to have a a knot here so I release until there's a dribblet then after that then no more already ya so if you can release until dribblet like that that means the 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 knot is untied and that is where the blood start to flush down [ah] that will be a good sign especially a lot of bending movement [ah] use your butt to bend [eh] not your knees [ah] remember ya because sometimes you you busy busy right then you will forget already (mm) okay relax yourself okay you stand up and walk around or or you do the you you do bending let me see how you twist [oh] okay ya understand so when you stay twisting is your hip move to the side and then lift up like that [ah] [oh] [oh] last time you use you use to do that right you always like that like that like that (ppl) okay like like now [lah] (ppl) okay then do you feel pain when you do do that now now [ah] okay so (uh) you release a lot more (ppl) ya 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 so either these two [lah] I_T band or the below calf here because they are the connectors in between the 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 knees (mm) so late already who !huh! how come at home !wow! then got see doctor or not (mm) !wow! !huh! they stick together (ppl) okay [oh] [eh] [eh] maybe [ah] they she got a tiktok account (ppl) my my friend very funny she was (uh) she was thinking how come her maid [ah] so (uh) (uh) so restless [ah] then after that she go and search her tiktok account then realise the 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 helper (uh) boyfriend with the girl boyfriend break up (ppl) fired right !aiyo! ya and then (um) she using the phone [ah] at night
like I mean you all allow her to use the phone whole day. Oh. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Correct, correct. Ah, you don't let her choose, ah. you you make the decision. In between. But what if the, the new one can make it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Back to the square one. Unless you have to let her know lah, like, I don't know. I, I actually it's very hard lah because you really let her have this kind of freedom. It's very hard for for you to like take back this freedom. You know what they should do, right? <laughs> Sometimes you just take it for granted, lah. Yeah. Okay, ah. So, uh, Jane, ah, you want to do this on your right side as well? This part. Okay, okay. Do later, ah. Okay, good. So now we go on with your your core and your upper body exercise. Okay. Good, ah. So we're gonna make you have more energy. <coughs> okay. Next one, ah, is engage your core. Okay, now this time now I want you to tuck your chin. Okay, then after that I want you to bring up your body up. Okay, use your core to bring your body up. One, two, three. Okay, so your neck don't come out. Uh, you must tuck in your chin. Uh. Okay, squeeze your stomach and bring up. Squeeze your stomach and bring up. Okay, both hands behind your ears. Okay, and then okay, don't need to go, don't need to come up so high, ah. Uh. Okay, I don't want you to uh injure your neck. Okay, tuck in your chin. Okay, just bring your core, use your core to bring you up a bit, can we? Okay. Okay, Jane, uh, your hand, uh, help me to put across your body, your shoulders there instead of your ears, because ah, uh, you you will bring your ears forward. Okay, so put your hand on your cross over the body, yes. And then use your stomach to bring you up. Okay. Do you feel your neck? Okay, uh, your stomach that you feel more, right? Okay, good. So we do for 30 seconds this one, because I don't want uh, in case you overdo that your neck comes in. So once you feel that your stomach are not working, then you have to rest it, yeah? Don't use your neck. Okay, rest. This is like a uh, half Semi and semi punches. Okay, sit up is a whole head, uh, must touch, must come out. Uh, this one half, uh, is testing your core strength. You slowly start uh. Okay, next now what you're going to do is, you're going to okay, sit up, alright, you're going to do a Russian twist. Okay, Russian twist, right, uh, there's a different challenges. Uh. You can start from the beginning one first. Wait, uh, how come we so many things? Okay. We start from the beginning one first to warm up. Uh. Okay, so your your legs can be on the floor, your butt on the floor, okay. I want you to squeeze your stomach. Squeeze your stomach, okay, then rotate. 
rotate your upper body, rotate your core. Okay, so just now what you're doing now, you are rotating your shoulders like that. Okay, I want you to move your core side to side. Side to side. Like twisting your stomach. Mm, okay. Okay. So, this thing your your core, uh, stomach side to side, side to side. Okay. Put your hand on the stomach. Put your hand on the stomach. Ah, feel it, yeah. Put your hand on the stomach, then twist. Twist your stomach. Yes. Okay, do it slow, huh? don't rush. Your leg don't move, huh? your leg don't move. Only your stomach and your upper body moving. Twisting. Okay, twisting motion, okay? So imagine you're like a dough, huh? you have to twist the dough, right? You twist it, twist it. Yes. Okay, your leg don't move. Hold it still for your legs. Only your core is moving. I do this one for one minute. It's too easy for you, it can lean slightly backwards. Your body can lean slightly backwards. Yeah, yeah, your head can move. Okay, yeah, this level one, huh? level one. Huh? Your bladder so far? No. You're gonna work harder for your for your bladder. So twist more. No, no, that's not a video. That's what you Okay. That's <laughs> that's okay. Next level, huh? Next level, huh? You you try see whether you can, okay? Same thing, but this time now your your upper body are uh, lean backwards for me, lean backwards some more. Then twist more. Okay, instead of sitting upright, then you twist, uh. Okay, you can lean backwards some more, twist. Hmm. Feel your stomach, feel your stomach. Make sure your stomach is squeezed, squeezed, and twist, and twist. Okay, very good. One minute. Okay, now your shoulders only, uh. now your shoulder moving only. Okay, twist your body, twist your core. Now you are twisting your hands. Okay. Okay, I want you to feel your stomach here. Twist this. Okay, your hand, ah. Your hand don't do this, ah. Your hand touch your stomach. Feel your stomach twisting. Okay? Yeah. Yeah, you need to squeeze your stomach and, and, and engage it, right? Your leg don't move. Your leg don't move. Your body, your leg is shaking like mad. You do it slow, ah. Don't need to rush. Do it slow and steady. Your leg don't move. Leg don't move. Your leg move, ah. Your stomach never work much. If not, you feel like a quick like <laughs> Okay, press. Okay, last round, ah. Last round, ah. <laughs> your leg, ah. Don't move. You don't do this. <laughs> okay, stay still. Okay, last round, last round. Okay. Hmm, that's a that's a challenge, huh? Because your core got to pull you. If your core is not engaged, right, you will feel your back lesson. Okay? Your core must pull you up, right? And then you do. And you see my leg don't really move a lot. Okay? You move a lot, huh? You are doing nothing. <laughs> you are doing nothing. Okay, you will like feel a lot more on your back. Okay? Because your back will support your leg. Nothing. Okay?
Last round, ah. Last round. Okay, slow and steady. Don't move your leg. Slow and steady. Don't move your leg. Steady. Don't move. Okay, don't need to do fast. Okay, do slow. Okay, make sure you feel your core. Okay, make sure you feel your core. And then you twist. Like you are twisting your stomach. Twisting your core. We are cooking the process, okay? We think we do. So once you feel that in your back, uh, a little bit soon, uh, then you can up by the way. Okay, then do it again, okay? Okay, 15 more seconds. And rest. Good job. Uh, this is a good try. Uh. Balance. Make sure your legs don't move. Push up, push up. This is a key. Okay? Next time, uh, what we're going to do is, okay, lie down flat. Okay, this is not easy for the core. Uh. Okay, but it is also not so easy, okay? So engage your core, squeeze your stomach. Okay, lift up your, uh, maybe bend 90 degrees first. Your both hands, uh. Put at the side, both hands, uh, put at the side. Okay, then you rotate, squeeze your stomach, uh, rotate to the right, slowly come back to the left. Roll to the left, then roll to the right. Okay, I want you to keep your, where are your yoga block, uh, keep in between your legs. Yeah, keep in between your legs. Very good. Okay, engage your core first, uh, big stone dropping down the stomach. Press it down, bring your both leg up. Okay, bring your both leg up. Okay, now you twist it, squeeze the stomach, uh, twist it to the okay, right side. Okay, come back slowly. Okay, go to the left side. Very good. Okay, your lower leg, try to keep it at 90 degrees, don't drop it. Yes, yes. <laughs> Okay, your leg open up, uh, your feet, yeah, <laughs> your feet, uh, open up, open up, yes, yes, <laughs> you see, they are like couple like that, you cannot open Taiwan. Okay, 30 more seconds, okay, this is very good for your obliques, uh, your side core, okay, As you as your leg drop down, you can breathe out. Yeah, after when your leg come up, you breathe. And rest. <laughs> good job, good job. Okay, we go for round two. Uh, we have round two. Okay, so make sure your feet don't. Ah. Uh, your your feet don't dobby dobby ah. Uh, I separate them. Okay. Ready? Engage your focus, ah, huh? then bring up. Okay, let's go. Very good. You are holding very well. Very good. Okay, see if you can go slightly lower. You test yourself. Test yourself. Okay, see your core can go how far. Twenty more seconds.
Okay, relax yourself. Okay, now without the block, uh, without the block, last round. Okay, rest for 10 seconds first, then after you go for the third round. 10 seconds rest for you. Okay, rest. Okay, let's go. Without the, without the block, okay, engage your core. Okay, make sure there's a gap in the knees there. Between your knees. Very Give me one second left. Okay, rest. Okay, give you rest for 25 seconds. So we got the block easier for you. Like there's lesser weight now. Ah. Oh. Okay, okay. Then you must get more. <laughs> when you get more, right, it works on your inner thigh also. Ah. Dropping, ah. Uh. Oh, eh? Because your pants so smooth, ah. Uh. Ah. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing, right? You gotta control the thing. <laughs> yeah, so. <laughs> tough, uh, tough. But good, uh. this one uh, make you have more control and awareness as well. The more you squeeze the blood, actually you feel more in the thigh as well. Okay, uh, but of course this one is more of us. Okay, you ready? Uh? Next one. Uh. This one we're going to roll up. Okay, so work your bladder area, your lower core muscles here. Okay, so your both hands just put down side by side. I just need you to engage your core, squeeze your core, huh? bring your knees to your chest, slowly bring it down. Bring your knees to the chest and slowly bring it down. Okay, so you squeeze the lower core here and then slowly down. See how see how high you can go, huh? But make sure you engage your core, huh? squeeze your core, okay, and then knees to the chest. Bend your knees, bend your knees, bend your knees and roll in, roll into your chest. Okay, very good. Your butt can lift up. Ah, okay, good. Now slowly bring down, or slowly bring down, have some control there. Then your leg, your, your lower leg will come up, your lower leg will come up. only your knees to your chest. Okay, good, good, good. Very 
it so far? Can I do it? I hear you. Okay, 10 more seconds left. 10 more seconds left. Okay, very good. Nice. Good job, good job. Okay, you can do your cobra stretch. Okay, especially when you work a lot on core, do your cobra stretch first. Okay, so stretch it out. Go hand, put beside your chest, bring yourself up, and look up. Okay, it's one this time huh? then you use elbow. Use elbow. Okay, elbow and look down. Hmm. Actually this one uh it's like you are doing a, a regression of push up. <laughs> like you squeeze your shoulder blade and do it, huh? You are more strength to put it up. Okay, rest. Okay, next up, uh, uh, we'll be in the same position. Okay, same position. Okay, put your hand behind your ear. Okay, I want you to tuck in your chin. Uh. Okay, I want you to use your shoulders and your shoulder plates uh, to bring yourself up. One, two, and three. Okay, when you come out, you squeeze your shoulder blades. You want me to demo shake it? Okay, so lie down flat on the ground. Okay, put your ears, uh, put your hand behind your ears. Okay, tuck in your chin, uh. don't, don't use your neck. Tuck in your chin, use your, squeeze your shoulder blade and bring up. Okay, your head don't come up, your head don't look up. Yes, yes, very good. Okay, only your shoulder blades trying to bring your upper body up. Uh, elbow don't touch the floor, uh, elbow don't touch the floor, just keep it there. Yes, only your body is moving up and down. Yes. Very good. Ten more seconds. Then rest. <laughs> then feel your back. Awesome. Okay, you need to strengthen all your back as well. Okay, rest first, huh? Okay, feel 30 seconds rest. Wow. You build your energy up. <laughs> okay, you, you want to drink some water first? I give you 30 seconds rest, huh? Okay, you can just relax yourself, drink some water if you want. Okay, we're going to do your arms exercises. Oh, 
Alright. So next we're gonna do your shoulder blade as well as your tricep and the back muscles of the, your shoulders. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna kneel down. Okay, same thing, uh, tuck in your chin. Okay, tuck in your chin, uh. then you slightly bend, okay, pull your butt, push backwards a little bit. Okay, I want you to squeeze your shoulder blade and push back your hand. Okay, tuck in your chin. Uh. Okay, your hand, yeah, your palm, uh, face back, uh. so you, okay, face back and push back. Okay, close to your body, uh, your hand close to your body, uh, close to your body. Uh. Uh, the leg is uh, a bit backwards, yeah, down, the, the, the butt is down on the heel. Mm. Um, because they are not, uh, their mechanism is not used to twist. So try not to twist them. Uh, but how you do release, uh, you have to release a lot here. This part and your IT band here. Because if you twist them, right, they are, their muscles are not very uh, adapt to it. Uh. But it's not, they are not supposed to twist. Uh, so when you get up, right, you don't twist them and get up. Right? You just get up straight. Get up straight. Uh, if you want to sit your way, you can... Go down, go down straight first, go down straight first, then you turn. Alright, you go straight away, twist and turn. Okay, but you can do that, just that it's not very favorable to them. Ah. You can release a lot here first off. Okay, if you still want to do that, but try not to. Ah. They are not meant to twist. Okay, so what we're going to do, ah, so your butt, ah, rest on the heel, butt rest on the heel, then your neck tuck in. Okay, push back, squeeze your shoulder blade and push back. Okay, your hand uh, is like a, it's like a stick. Uh. It's not like uh, that, uh, swing, swing. Uh, no, it's the stick. Uh, so you lock up your elbow, lock up your elbow and squeeze your shoulder blades. Push back. Okay. Very good. Okay, try to, your hand try to go near to your body, nearer, better. Yes. Okay, squeeze your shoulder blade while you are pushing back. Very good. Okay, one minute. Okay, your neck tuck in, uh, your neck. Come on already. Okay. Okay. So tucking your neck, then you can look down, you can look down, and then you push as hard as you can, like against the wind. Okay? Squeeze your shoulder blades, squeeze it and push it, yes. Squeeze it and push it. Ten more seconds, eh? Five, four, three, two, and one. Yes. Okay. <laughs> now lie down, side ways. Lie down, lie down. Okay. All right. Okay. So next, what we're gonna do, huh? We're gonna do a uh, a push up, but it's a more uh, easier version. But let's see how we do it, huh? Okay, uh, my, my, my chin always tuck in, okay, so I'm going to put my right hand, so for you also, uh, put your right hand across to your waist, okay, use your left hand, put in front of you, in front of the shoulders, uh. I want you to tuck in your chin, okay, see, and push up yourself up, one, okay, so your left hand can be around your chest, uh. okay, two, Okay, see how high you can go up. Uh, your it's your shoulders that are doing the work, uh, not your neck. Not your neck doing the work. Okay, shoulder push up. Down. Okay. Let me see. Uh. Elbow able to push yourself up. 
elbow able to try to straighten up? Mm -hmm. Do you feel that your shoulders is working out? Okay, good. Now the hand just put at the, the waist there. Uh, as a... Don't need support, it's just there. <laughs> No, <laughs> squeeze your squeeze your stomach. Stomach will help you. Stomach also will help you. Okay, squeeze your stomach. Okay. All right. Last try. Last try. Oh, this is not bad. Wait, uh, only when you're going down, ah, uh, it's like ah, blah, ah, blah, blah. Okay, go down. You almost there. Already. You're going down slowly as well, and then you rest. Wow, very good, very good. Slowly, 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 slowly. Yeah. Okay, we do uh eight times of this, eight times. Okay? Now you already did like proper and two. Very good. Three. Very good. Okay, your core can support you, but mainly still use your hand now. Oh, very good, very good. Just squeeze your four, help you to get out also. Five, yes, they're working as a team. Right, to push you up. Very good. Three more to go. It's, it's six. Oh, very good. Last two, last two. Seven. And last one. Oh, okay. oh good job. Keep your hand up, too fat, and say good job, good job. Oh. Okay, not easy, uh, not easy. Uh. Okay, change side, change side. Uh, let your right hand rest. Correct, so we want to build the strength. Okay, we'll start to build our strength really. Uh. Okay. Very good, same thing. Okay, right hand hold on to your waist. Okay, sorry, left hand hold on to your waist. Right hand in front of the chest. Okay, squeeze your stomach, tuck in your chin. Very good. Okay, and ready? Yes. Your neck, ah. Huh? Your neck, ah. Huh? Tuck in your neck. Huh? How far your right hand? Okay, you need you need a thumb warm up first. The first few will be a bit. <laughs> Motivate you. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and your right shoulders move will take forward, uh, bring forward somehow. Yes, yes. Okay, good. So we do it sideways. You, you want to adjust first? You're not very far away, on it. I know, I know. <laughs> Wait, wait. Look, aircon, you want to go down. Aircon, I'll go down. You want aircon, okay, go there. There, what aircon? Okay, go. Go find it there. Yeah. Wait, just wait. You can run. Ah, okay. So, your, your, you are using your right hand. Yeah. So, your left hand, put at your waist. Right hand on the chest. Okay, your shoulders rotate forward some more. Push yourself up. One, two, three, four, use your hand, six, seven, eight. Alright, oh, rest, rest, rest. Okay, how come your right side? Hmm. Your right side got to do one more round. I got to see one more time. Like weaker than your left, huh? Cannot be, what? Yeah. So, rest first, I'll give you 30 seconds. Okay, we try your. Ah, so, so. 
Uh, don't rush, don't rush, I'll take your time. Slowly come up and then slowly do it down. Yeah. I'm gonna strengthen, slowly strengthen, it's okay. Mm. Something is always like that. Like, because the uh, muscles are not used to move this way, and uh, we're going to be stronger. So now we are training them to be stronger, to carry your weight. Okay? Ready? Slowly, uh, one by one. Okay, shoulder move over a bit more. Okay, let's go. Take time. Your neck tuck in. Your core, we're tucking our core. Hmm. Muscle. And muscle. Okay, you got to reverse it, huh? Okay, reverse yourself. Because at that time, right, when you do the wall push up, it's very easy for you when you do the wall push up. So you definitely got to go for the next level. What you're gonna do, right? Instead of doing this, you can, okay. This one is to train up your arms, uh, And also when you when you get up, right? You also use your core to push you up also. Okay. So but uh, we can try both hands. You put your chest here, tuck in your chin, and then see how high you can push yourself up. Okay. Then you go down. Okay. Then you up, and then down. Mm -hmm. Okay, tuck in your core, everything must be tight, yeah? everything must be tight so it helps your shoulders as well. Squeeze your shoulder blades, push yourself up. Okay, okay, very good. Your neck, tuck in, tuck in your neck. Okay, your hand put beside your chest, huh? chest a little. Huh? Lower a bit more, lower a bit more. Hmm, okay. Your neck don't move, huh? but keep looking down here. Yes. Six. Very good. Seven. Squeeze the shoulder plate and bring your back up. Eight. Okay, rest. Okay, we're going to do two more rounds of this. Okay, we're going to definitely build our shoulders and your whole arm strength. Okay. Okay, let's go for round two. Let's go for round two. Okay. Tucking your chin down, don't look up. Yes, don't look up. Don't use your neck. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Famous for two seconds. Are you ready? You can start in time. Straighten your elbow, push up all the way. Yes, three, very good. Four. Okay, your neck, your neck, your neck, your neck. Five. Almost there, almost there. Six. Okay, very good. Last two, last two, ready. Last one, last one. All right. Okay, good job, good job. <laughs> okay, uh, this one definitely will help you gain more energy back. <laughs> okay, last one, uh, last one before we pull down. Uh, last one, uh. Okay, we're going to do Superman. Okay, so you have both hands, hands and legs out. Okay, I move myself up front a little bit more. Hands out, legs out. Okay, tuck in the chin. Both. Hands and legs. Lift up. One, two, three, four. Okay? 
Ah, oh, sorry. Finale, finale. <laughs> you know, say touch your, touch your, then your body also feel that it's hot chop. You must say good job. Yeah, okay, hey, don't come up, hey, don't come up. Good job, good job. Yes. And then legs all the way up, and all, all the way up as well. Okay, this is to strengthen up your whole back. Okay, when your back is strong, you can carry more things. Okay, you can squat more as well. And do things better. Okay, rest. Good job! <laughs> okay, now cool down, cool down, cool down. Ah, easy, all oh, easy. Okay. okay, so we're gonna do a, a baby pull stretch. Stretch out your armpit, stretch out your back. Okay, stretch it out. Okay, this is a very good uh, cool down for you for 30 seconds. Okay, you can do the baby pose. This one is a very good stretch. Every morning you can do also. So you'll be good for your back and your shoulders, your butt. Okay, move to the right side. You see whether you can move to the right side or spin or not spin. Never mind. So next time we're gonna do it is. You can sit down right here, sit down. Okay, bring your hand over your head. Okay, stretch it out to the side. Okay, bring your right hand, go over your head. The left hand, press down your elbow and go to the side. Okay, you stretch out here. You can feet here as well. 30 seconds. Okay, chain Okay, rest. Okay, so your both hands put at the back. Stretch it out. Is this higher? Can go? Can go higher? Squeeze your shoulder blade. Squeeze your shoulder blade. Tuck in your chin. Huh? Okay. Uh, push back your chin. Huh? Okay, so your mid back still very tight. So if you start really thin, you're ready your mid back. Then you can look up as well. Okay, and then 
Okay, put your bucket in front and hunch your back. Put it down, hunch your back. Okay, and relax. Alright, so Jane, uh, for you, right, <coughs> if you can, uh, every day, uh, how many you do a walk push-up? Okay, the walk push-up, right, <coughs> your legs are uh, uh, stand far away. Uh. Okay, that's how we did, the, your leg was quite here. Yeah? So stand far, quite away, shoulder width apart for your shoulders. Okay, you go up higher a bit. Okay, stand away far. Okay, I want you to do a lot of this. We'll push up. Okay. So uh, squeeze your shoulder blade as you go down. Push yourself up using your forearms. Forearms push up. Okay. And if you want more difficulty, your heel off the ground, heel off the ground, push. Okay. More weight will be on it. Okay. Down, squeeze your shoulder blade, then push up using your forearms, using your shoulders. Okay, good. Uh, do this uh, 10 times every day. Uh, huh? Okay, that's all. Have a good night. Okay. <laughs> bye bye. See you. See you. Okay. Bye bye. Ouch. Hello, guys. I just finished with my client training. And uh, in fact, she actually recovered for my. The knee and also her shoulders, upper back and neck pain. Right, so now she's much better. So I did a lot of uh, strengthening with her right now. Right. <laughs> Even though she was, she was like, uh, screaming for help because it's a very new thing for her. Oh, okay. <laughs> the cons, thank you so much. Thanks for watching. Yeah, I hope you uh, watch this video and uh, learn something. <laughs> Good, good, good. Alright, so you've got any questions about your body pains like neck, shoulders, your upper back or lower back or knee, feet, okay? You can just uh, let me know or you can just message us as well, okay? And uh, we will do our best to last you um, as often as we can. And yeah, that's all for my day. Thank you so much for watching and i see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Awesome, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> 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 bye bye thanks for watching and uh hope you guys learned something new okay i'll just another back another one two three bye bye one two three bye bye <laughs> you can see his hair here okay so yes that's the end of my day and i see you tomorrow bye bye <laughs> okay there he is okay bye guys see you